Hi all, welcome to the video. Uh, if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It's a humble request. Now, um, in the last couple of videos on anomaly detection, we looked at how to implement uh, an, al an algorithm for numeric variable, and we saw a simple, you know, uh, demonstration using the Excel file, where we had, you know, like. <coughs> we had 12 points and then we first calculated the total number of buckets which is uh, which is roughly around square root of the total number of points then for each point we basically for each point in the bucket we calculated difference between maximum and minimum which is width and since the total number of points in each bucket is constant which is area which let's term this as area we calculated the height which is area by width for each point then we calculated the normalized height which is height divided by the maximum of the height value and then correspondingly once normalized height was calculated we took a log so this was essentially a very simple illustration of how the algorithm can be done when we are dealing only in excel but let's say if you have millions of point what will you do and uh, how will you develop this algorithm in r okay so uh, i'm just taking a, a vector x and if you see there are values which are present from starting from one and then there are certain repetitions and then there is a single standalone value at 100 now i have plotted it and if you look at the plot all these are you know values at uh, uh, which are i think spaced equally even though there are repetitions but these values are spaced equally and nicely however there is a point 100 uh, which sorts of stands out right so just by looking at this we know that this is an outlier or you know, an exceptional point how let's let's create that algorithm okay hp let let me first create the data frame okay okay so if i just look at hp underscore df now so you see basically there is a, a variable created and it essentially has x, x. now uh points in each group so before that sorry total points or total groups total groups so this is essentially square root of uh, length of x okay so i think since the total number of points are 26 the number will be equal to 5 let's take this as 5 now the first first thing is we take this data frame, we arrange it by where, basically it will be in ascending order and then let's create an identifier index. Let's create an identifier so that it is easier to map it back to the original data frame. So now the position is fixed and we can pivot against index. Uh, let's do the grouping so let's create a variable group we know that there are five groups with five points each and one point either at the start of the group or at the bottom of the group will be you know the distribution will be unequal the total number of points might not be same as five okay so <clears throat> so we will be basically dividing the index okay and we basically want the quotient okay total groups let's see okay so see what it does is it, it is basically taking index and then it is dividing it by 5 okay and 1 divided by 5 the quotient will be 0 all the way up to 5 starting from 6 where 6 divided by 5 the quotient will be 1 and so on so if you see the first group has 5 points the second group has 5 I think it has 6 2 3 4 5 yeah, it has five points third group also has five points and the last one has only one point okay so just to make things simple for readability purpose let's add one at the end so that instead of group starting from zero we have group starting from one okay see uh, okay now let's get the total number of total points in the group which is nothing but you can easily get it by okay no 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 sorry you have to first group it by group 
and then for each group we will be computing certain statistics or certain numbers okay okay i have assigned these results to k and if you see we have variable values we have index we have groups assigned and then we have total points within each group so for this group we have 5 points we have for group 2 we have sec again we have 5 points and then for the last group we have only a single point now for each group we have to calculate the difference between maximum and the minimum value first we have to calculate that max val is equal to maximum of uh, i think maximum of var yeah then min val we have to calculate minimum of var what what happened here okay max let's see let me remove this for a while okay so for the first group we know that there are only there is only a single point one which is repeated repeated for like five or six time so minimum and maximum value is the same now let's calculate the width width is essentially max max val minus min val okay now the thing is uh, for group 1 there is only a single point 1 which is like uh, which is like repeated 5 times so what we need to do is you know the concentration is high uh, at just point 1 which means that its height will automatically be more right because width is essentially nothing there is only a single point so in order to you know accommodate all the points we will have more height here so what we are going to do is i think yeah let me ungroup so width to so if the width is 0 we will make it as 1 if the width is equal to 0 we will make it as 1 otherwise it will remain as width okay so you see we have just corrected it out so that you know it doesn't create a problem when we divide the total number of point by width right if you look at the excel what we are doing is for each bucket we are calculating the width we have calculated the width here and then we are calculating the height which is nothing but area or the total number of points divided by height sorry divided by width now mutate a uh, height height is nothing but total points which we have already calculated divided by width okay so just a second width 2 so you see total number of points in this group is 5 and then height is sorry just a second st okay so height is 5 and similarly these matrix are calculated for all the points now you see height for this particular group and each individual group is calculated now we have to calculate normalized height divided by max of this height so you see uh, let me <laughs> assign it to k so that we can view it in a more enhanced screen so you see for each group we calculated the height and the maximum value of height is 1 uh, sorry 5 so normalized height is 1 for all the values except for the last value okay now once we have calculated the normalized height we just need to calculate mutate of uh, basically we have to calculate score which is nothing but log of normalized height okay now if you see score is 0 for all the points except for the last point which is 100 which is very obvious from this plot also so you see what we have done we 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 sort of have calculated uh, or created the base with which we can design the function and it is sort of very simple if you just look at the steps that we did for for the example shown in the excel file 
I think it is very self explanatory where you first identify the total number of buckets which is nothing but square root of the total number of points roughly. Then you calculate for each bucket what is the maximum and minimum value, you then calculate the difference which is the width. Then you calculate the height which is the total number of points in that group divided by the total <coughs> width. Once we get height, we calculate the normalized height. Once we get the normalized height, we basically do a logarithm and that particular logarithm is nothing but the anomaly score. In the next video, we will basically create a function using this, uh, you know, basic or you know, uh, using this conceptual material and then we will we'll use a data frame and then we will try to apply that function and identify anomaly. I hope this video was useful to you. I know it's lengthy, but yeah, we, we in order to cover this concept, we had to spend some time. Uh, do like and share, you know, if you if you think the video was helpful to you.